how are you all doing today so you're welcome to another episode of jennifer david's um pregnancy videos and pregnancy vlogs and all of that okay <clears throat> so today is a new day today is a new vlog today is a new video and you are all welcome to my channel okay so let me do a formal introduction my name is jennifer david and i do content about pregnancy motherhood family lifestyle and what have you so if this is the first time you're coming to my channel and you're seeing my face you're highly welcome and please do subscribe to my channel if this is the kind of content you enjoy watching and to my returning subscribers i want to say a very big thank you to you guys you guys are awesome so in today's video i just want to tell you guys that we are 35 weeks today oh my god oh my god I am nervous like I I don't know but I'm nervous I've never been this nervous all this while I've been like, excited like oh my god I'm approaching the end I'm approaching eight eight months nine months and all of that but now I'm scared no 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 I'm not scared I'm just nervous yeah I'm just nervous so um right now I am on my way to the office and So right now I am on my way to the office and yeah I just wanted to come out to tell you guys that we are progressing smoothly the pregnancy is progressing smoothly mother and child are perfect safe protected yeah thanks be to God and <clears throat> um, by next week by next week Wednesday I'll be 36 weeks by next week and then I'll be having my antenatal with a gynecologist instead of a family physician and I was told that I'm going to be discussing my birth plans with the psychologist and did I say psychologist you guys I'm nervous like I'm nervous seriously so I'm going to be you know having my birth plans with the gynecologist and yeah i'm going to discuss everything i want during my childbirth i'm going to discuss everything i want with him or her okay and i am really looking forward to that day like i said earlier i am nervous so i'm really looking forward to that day that will be next week okay so um all in all so far so good i've been so you know inquisitive i've been thankful to god and i must say that i've learned a lot in this pregnancy during this period during this pregnancy i've learned a lot and um yeah i've been watching a lot of videos lots of youtube videos from a whole lot of women and i have learned a lot and i have unlearned a lot as well you know you can never know it all no matter the experience you have you can never know it all you still need to share some of your experiences with experienced mothers and you still need to listen to some bad stories so i'm at a point where listening to other people's positive bad stories really inspires me like yeah it's just it just puts me in a mood where i'm like okay this is what i'm going to expect this is what i'm going to expect and all of that so i love to listen to birth stories i love to listen to birth stories I wish I could have more content about birth stories. <clears throat> Excuse me. I wish I could have more content about birth stories. And that's what I enjoy listening to right now. And I am planning on taking my annual leave. What did I say? Annual leave. I am planning on taking my maternity leave any moment from now. Like, it's not yet time. It's not yet time. I still have a whole one month plus before I take my leave. But I am not going to do that because i feel very tired i was discussing with my friend the other day i said i feel very tired like going to work in the morning driving back home in the evening i feel so exhausted and i'm at home alone i keep saying that my husband is not here with me i have a toddler at home a very high active and hyperactive toddler at home i have to deal with that and then i feel like i'm exhausted i feel like i need time to rest so i'm definitely going to take my maternity leave before time 
that's something unusual that um, a lot of women do if you have a friend if you have anybody that you know is a civil or public servant they hardly do that but for me i think i'm going to do that like i think i'm going to do that i'm going to take my maternity leave on time just so i can have at least some time to rest at home i just want to sit at home and rest so that being said <laughs> That being said, I'm just looking forward to next week when I'll be 36 weeks pregnant and uh, yeah, and I'll have to discuss everything with the guy. And uh, you guys, we have good news. We have good news. So my friend, Faith, not time out with family that you guys know, okay? So my elder sister's friend, Faith, she gave birth this Sunday, okay, two days ago, she gave birth and... I don't know i've been so excited i'm like oh my god oh my god finally the nine months journey ended in praise okay so i went to see her yesterday and god you guys the baby was so cute the baby was so tiny you know i wanted to carry the baby at the same time i was feeling somehow about carrying the baby the baby was so tiny i'm like god i don't know how to hold small children when they are just like immediately being born like the first two weeks i don't know how to carry them if it's not for my mother i don't know how to carry those children as tiny as they are as at that time baby was so cute i'm like oh my god see it gave me that feeling like it's going to be my turn very soon like oh my god i'm going to be in this position very soon so fate if you are watching this video i want to say another big congratulations to you god bless the baby and god bless the mother and i am so very very happy for you so yes yeah, so that's the good news i said i wanted to share with you guys so um i didn't make any video when i went to see her i didn't vlog it because you guys know um she's not a youtuber not everybody wants their life you know in public so you have to respect people's opinion and you have to respect people's space even though i didn't ask in fact i wasn't even in the mood to do any video i'm like i sucked myself in that moment i was enjoying the newborn baby moments and all of that i didn't even remember making any video and you know so i feel so happy you guys i feel so happy congratulations i wish i have i wish i have um um the baby's picture i would have attached it to this video but i don't know when this video is going to go up if i do get the the picture before then i'm going to attach mother and baby's picture here so you guys can as well say a very big congratulations to her it's not an easy journey but yes god saw her through I have reached my destination i'm in the office right now and i'm going straight to work now so i've come to the end of this conversation i've come to the end of this chit chat and yeah i just wanted to you know share the good news with you guys and and also hope for what my next week will look like so you guys thank you so much for watching i believe this is a very short video thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in my next one okay so you guys let me show you what my bump looks like at 35 weeks Ta -da! this is what we look like at 35 weeks okay i didn't even know that this outfit will still be my size because i made it when uh i wasn't pregnant okay and one thing with me is i like to wear free size clothes like yeah free size clothes so i made this one when i wasn't pregnant and it was free size for me so you guys you can see this right <laughs> so i was just looking for what to wear today i'm like god what am i going to wear i'm always wearing gowns and, and gowns upon gowns upon gowns every day so i decided to just pick this one i'm like you know what let me just try this thing to see if it fits and it, it actually fits so you guys Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.